today. There's no donuts today, okay? There's no donuts. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on now. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Hi, Abigail. Happy Sunday. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nobody, nobody, look. No, 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 no. They're going away. Look, oh my gosh. I took, I got rid of the table and it all fell. Oh my goodness. Oh my, oh my golly gosh. Uh, where is this? Where is this? Guys, no! Everybody, you all get weak old donuts. Anybody want some weak old donuts? They're, they're donuts from a week ago. They're donuts from a week ago. Anybody want them? Anybody want them? No donuts? What a rep- No, it's the last Sunday of the month, Naru. Also, welcome to chat. Welcome, welcome. Give me a moment oh and I'm gonna say hello to everybody. Woo. Orientation is tomorrow. Let's go! Tomorrow. Thank you again, Ray, for the 19 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and God bless you. Thank you. Age to perfection. <laughs> let me uh, let me go through the hellos and say hello to everybody. Okay, hold on. Now hold on. Okay, all right. <coughs> CGR was first. Congratulations, oh CGR. Uh, Jarbo, hello. Tender, hello. Jade, hello. Quasar, hello! Dunkle Dan, hello! Kibby, hello! KJVB, hello! Uh, Recruit, hello! Rooster, hello! Pyronic, hello! Ranger, hello! Uh, Qui Gon Sin, welcome! Or, uh, hello, sorry, I said welcome. But, hello! Uh, Hand, hello! 82, hello! Chipsy, hello! Sea Money, hello! Vinny, hello! Ray! Hello! Holly! Hello! Vinegar! Hello! Frozen Scarecrow! Hello! Arclight! Hello! Redeem Gamer! Hello! Joe! Hello! Surfing a God! Hello! Big Hat! Hello! Fauna! Hello! Magnus! Hello! Zarista! Hello! Dread! Hello! Doug! Hello! Calamidon! Hello! Chevy! Hello! Sizzle! Hello! Uh, Zontrex, hello! Dandy, hello! BD, hello! Maya, hello! Ocelot, hello! Game Master, hello! Uh, Naru, hello! Ugh! Ugh! Cool! Holy moly! This is why I have a hello redeem, you guys! This is why I have... Don't you think it's a little early for this? Oh, man. No, 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 it's okay. Hello! Hello, Dreads! Hello! sub than five months believing for the first time oh wait really that's incredible i i'm sorry i look sad it's a it's a redeem but emily that's incredible i'm so happy for you god bless you thank you oh my goodness and red hello whoo Guys, I'm already out of breath. I'm already out of breath. I, like, just started. And I'm already out of breath. The stream just started. And I'm already... Hi! Hi, Red Slovin, how are you? Holy moly. Hello, Maestro! Hello! 
Oh my gosh. There's so many hellos, guys. That's why I have the hello reading. That's why I have the hello reading. Because there's so many people, it's hard for me to keep up. But I, I really want to be able to say <clears throat> hello to everybody. So I make sure that the hello redeem is really low so that anyone can afford it. Right? Am I right? Uh, Skarn, hello! Have some water, thank you. I am actually drinking, um, unsweetened tea. I'm drinking a uh, green tea right now. Drinking green tea right now. Hello, Acid! Hello, Comrade! Hello! Hello, 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 hello. I prefer blue tea. <laughs> I'm sorry I had to do it. I'm sorry I had to. <laughs> but... <laughs> um... I'm at the Airbnb. It's still noisy here and I... Or I'd probably have missed the stream. Really? Well, I, I hope that you're, you know, whatever, whatever is going on is okay. Hi, Strawberry. Oh my goodness. What's thank it? you. Oh, it is too. Thank you so much for the gifted sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the gifted sub to Jay. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you. Guys, um... Gabriel, welcome! Thank you for joining us today. Welcome to the congregation. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I haven't even been able to get started. We've been we've been live for almost 15 minutes, and I haven't even been able to get started. I haven't even been able to do my intros. My hellos. I actually think it tastes pretty good, Anna Maestro. Um, but I can understand like not everybody likes, but I like it's not my birthday! Guys, it's not my birthday. However, my birthday is coming up this month. Um, oh I, I, I am Thank scheduling you. my birthday stream for the 25th. That's when I'm gonna do my birthday. No, 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 no! Wait! Ah! Thank oh you, everybody, goodness. for the gifted subs. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, God bless you. Thank you. 19 months is almost two years. With the most, delightful, with the most delightful goober. Pray, Let's go! Thank you so much, Julie! Yeah! Thank you, thank you, thank you. And God bless you, Julie! And thank you for everything. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being an amazing mod. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you. Hello, Mockman. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, JX. Hello, 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 hello. 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 Today is my, oh my twin goodness, brother's birthday. Wait. You. Oh heck. Wait, so it's already? is it not your birthday? Wait, I'm kind of yes. It's your twin brother's birthday. Is it your birthday too or no? But a uh, happy birthday to your twin brother. And uh Pickinator, thank you so much for the 20 whole months. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and God bless you. Thank you. <gasps> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Starlit Petals. Happy birthday to you. Oh, uh, Big Hat. Um, today we're actually reading together. Today we're reading together. We're reading together. Um, so, uh, yeah, so oh that's kind of what we're thank doing. You. Uh, Big Boss, thank you so much for the... For the three months! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Thank you, God bless you. Thank you! Guys, I'm trying really hard to get started, but you you all are just so overwhelmingly kind, and, and it's just... Holy moly, there's just so much excitement in the air! Oh there's so goodness. much excitement! Thank you! Thank you, Danny, for the gifted sub! Thank you, thank you, thank you, and God bless you! Thank you! Oh! Do you sing happy birthday on, on December 25th? <gasps> no! Oh! Wait, did we? We might have. We actually might have. I don't remember. Some, some people say, Sister Abigail is still trying to get started. Even an hour later. We're already almost at 20 minutes. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. Alright, guys. 
Guys, 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 guys. Oh my goodness. Thank Wait, no! Oh my gosh! What is happening? Based soda! Soda, thank you so much for the... Holy moly! For the ten gifted subs! Thank you! Why have you done such a thing? Thank you so much! Thank you, Soda! Thank you, thank a you, thank you! A few moments later... Thank you and God bless you! Wait, Phantom... Nobody here is annoying, though! I was just... I was just poking fun at everybody. But then, the, honestly, nobody here has been annoying me at all. Me being delayed just means the stream's gonna be longer, because oh I'm still going to fully you. do everything about... Wait, 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 wait! Wait, 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 wait! Wait, 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 wait! Soda, what are you doing? Soda, what are you doing? Soda, what are you doing? Soda! Hi, Sunshine, by the way! Hi, Sunshine, I saw the hello redeem! Hello, hello, hello! Soda! Soda, what are you doing? Thank you so much for the, 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 the 10! The 10! That's 20! Thank you so much for the 20 gifted subs! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the... the, 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 the. Thank you! Um, thank you for the... Thank you for the level 500! <laughs> thank you! Thank you! Thank you so much! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Thank you, and, and God bless you! Thank you! Yeah, thank you everybody for everything! Thank you everybody! Oh my gosh! Holy moly! Holy free holy! Thank you everybody! Yes, a round of applause! A round of appro oh, applause! Wow, we um hello everybody. Um I'm finally able to do intros. A big <laughs> Wait what? Hi! Hi infinite in infinite 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 Also hello Kappa, how are you? Okay everybody, okay, okay, now now that now that everything has happened and we got through with all of the hype and the craziness, how was your Sunday? Guys, how was your Sunday? How was your Sunday? Hello, Jimmy. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you, Stuzzy. Thank you, Stuzzy, for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you. I did laundry today. Nice. Just got home from work. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you for the quack. Nice, nice. Laundry is good! Laundry is good! Glenn, Bye! Who the hell's a Glenn! Glenn! Hello, Glenn! Glenn! Oh god, let's... Hi, Abby, and hi, everybody! Hi! 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 Hi, Platinum! Oh, hold on. Welcome! Hold on, let me say hello to Gwen properly. Hold on. Gwen! How are you? sister and a variety streamer and today we're doing bible study my sunday is good no more covid how is sister abigail i am so happy to hear Hello. that uh oh, big hat i'm so happy to hear that is me it too me looking for? is it me you're looking for is it abigail you rated <laughs> um me too i've gotten all over my sickness i was really sick for a little bit but i am 110 percent better ready to go in fact i am back to working out regularly i walked five miles yesterday and i have been actually i'm getting ready to do fast i want to do like a, I want to do my, i really want to do like a proper five day fast yeah so that's and she would walk 500 more just to be the one that walked 1,000 miles to end up on this stream. Da -da 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 -da
am. I'm, I'm doing a water fast, actually. Um, I have been looking into a few different fasts, but I am doing a proper, just a water fast. Today. Welcome to the congregation. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And hello, Red Oni. Hello. I only drink water. I, and that means I only drink water. I'm going to be doing it between three to five days. Depending on how it goes. I'm aiming for five. Yeah. <laughs> Every stream is a secret karaoke stream. You know it. Let me get a sip. That is very generous of you. I will walk 1,000 miles and I will walk 1,000 more. <laughs> Me too. No, for, for a whole year? For a whole year? You know what? Don't even challenge me. I'll do it. Just kidding. I, will. I, need, I need food eventually. But it was, it was, it was ranch instead eel. Hello? Uh, Malik! Uh, Malik! Malik, is that how I say your, your... Praise the Lord, he is worthy to be praised. That's my praise report in short. Welcome! What, you have TV at the end? Does that mean you're... Do you stream? Do you stream still? Are you... Are you... Wait, are you a Christian streamer? Hold on. Hold on. I'm always wanting to check out Christian streamers. Uh, let's see. Papa! Hopefully I can check your stream out sometime. Welcome. Also, hello, Warden. How are you? All right. We have been going for 25 minutes already. Um, Today we're going to be reading some Matthew together. We're going to be reading some Matthew that together. very generous of you. It's going to... Thank you, by the way. Whoever has been donating. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you. But, um, let's see. Oh, hi, Diva. It's okay if you're late. Happy to have you here. We're going to be covering some serious topics today. Um, as you know, a lot of Matthew talks about laws. It talks about laws. It talks about tradition. So we're going to be talking about kind of that stuff today in the next three chapters. Today we're going to be reading uh, Matthew 18, 19, and 20. We're going to be... Wow, look at all the people. Welcome, Space Man! Space Man, welcome! Thank you for joining us today, Raiders! Hello! Hi, how are you? My name is uh, Abigail. I am a religious sister and a variety streamer. And today we're going to be reading some of Matthew. We're going to be reading some of Matthew. You were playing the multiverse? Well, that's awesome. That game, the multiverses. Sorry, that's not the multiverse. It's multiverses. But welcome, Raiders. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, everybody. We're going to get started uh, reading Matthew. Also, um, I'm... Thank you for the kind words, Malik. 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 Is it Malik? Malik. Which one is it? Like, where? Where does the stress? Is the stress the second half or the first half? <laughs> I want to say it correctly. What happened to the alert command? It should still work. It should still work. It should work. Yeah. See, it, it works. But um, today we're gonna be reading through some of Matthew. Um, if you have your physical Bible with you. Uh, Malik, Malik? I think that's pretty smooth. Like a smooth operator. Smooth operator. Okay, so today we're going to be reading Matthew 18, 19, and 20. Hello, Ace Ninja, welcome. So, we're going to be reading 18, 19, and 20. I hope you all are ready. I hope you all are set. Because we're going to read it all. We're going to read it all. And um, I'm very excited. Okay? Also, I see... I like your Kaori emote there, Ninja. Nice, nice Kaori emote. Very cool. All right. All right, everybody. If you have your physical Bible, please turn to Matthew 18. If you do not have your physical Bible with you, that is A-OK. -okay! Exclamation point Bible. And you type in Matthew 18 through 20. Try that, okay? Then you just type in Matthew 18 through 20 in the little search bar on Bible Gateway and it'll take you right there. Hello, King! Welcome! Welcome to Chow. Welcome to here. Welcome to now. I hope that you are well. 
But yes, I'll let everybody take a moment to find it in their Bibles, to turn in their Bibles. Uh, uh, fake, fake K-pop. Welcome, thank you for joining us today. Welcome to the congregation, welcome, welcome. Oh, it hasn't popped up yet on stream. Uh, <laughs> that's awkward when I'm a little quicker than the, than the notification. <laughs> All right. I use ESV translation for my reading. Um, I do ESV translation for my main reading, and then my study Bible is a New King James. All right, let's get started, everybody. Let's get started. <coughs> at at the time, at the, at that time, the disciples came to Jesus, saying, "Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven?" And called to him a child. He put. He put in the midst of them and said, Truly, I say it to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Whoever receives one such child in my name receives me. But whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him to have a, mi a great millstone fastened around his neck and to be drowned in the depths of the sea. Welcome! Uh, wait. Oh, it just popped up. Damn, the alert was really late. Continuing, continuing. Woe to the world for temptations to sin. For it is necessary that temptations come. But woe to the woe to one by whom the temptation comes. And if your hand or your foot causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better... It is better for you to enter life crippled or lame than with two hands or two feet to be thrown into the eternal fire. And if your eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life with one eye than the two eyes to be thrown into the hell of fire. Let's talk a little bit about all we just read. Let's talk a little bit about what all we just read. All right? So first it's saying, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And it is saying, yeah, I know, right? I was actually just gonna say that. What a, what, what a question! What a question to ask Jesus, right? What a question. Um, hold on one second. I tried refreshing, and it's still giving me commands only a moderator should have. Wait, what? I'm confused, desert. I'm confused if you're... Is something happening? Is there like a glitch? But... In other words, no worldly price is too great to pay for the quest of... Exactly! We're gonna get to that! Okay. It is not... It's telling you... Yes! I was just gonna say that! I was just gonna say that! Don't worry! Don't worry! I am going to... Um... I'm gonna go over that. Okay! So first... So first... Yes! Exactly, Naru! Exactly, Naru! Exactly. Um, but basically, so first what I wanted to talk about was the first part where it talks about, uh, it talks about who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. What Jesus is saying here is that people who, uh, throw away, basically like, you know, the, the doubt and the ego and all of that stuff, right? Whoever can be humble and believing and wanting to seek out answers and knowledge, right? That's what it's saying. But, going forward, it is also talking about people who, basically, we, we put ourselves in situations that cause us to be tempted. So it's not literally saying, like, you know, if you, if you, you know, you, 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 like, you know, you throw something at the wall, right? In, like, a fit, in a fit of rage. It's not telling you to throw up, to, like, chop off your hand, right? It's not telling you to chop off your hand because you did it. What it's saying is that when you know something is putting you in a place to be tempted to sin, right? When something, when you know that something is putting you in a bad place, you know that something is causing you to sin. Maybe a certain hobby, maybe a certain group of friends, but it's saying that you need to do the difficult thing. And cut that out of your life. So it's saying right here that 
You need to do what's difficult. And you need to make those boundaries. You need to make those calls. You need to do what you need to do. And get that stuff out of your life. That's what it's telling me. That's what it's telling me. Right? So, that's what it's- that's what it's talking about here. It's not literally saying, like, you know, Oh, you looked at something you weren't supposed to! Take out your eyeballs! Take out your eyeballs! No, it's telling you not to put yourself in these situations. It's telling you not to put yourself in these situations. Also, I'm interested in seeing... Um... Let's see. If that was the case, I'd be- Yeah, exactly! We all- we all would have lost our eyeball privileges, you know? Everybody! Everybody! Remove eyeballs and wash the rolling. I need- I need my eyeballs! <laughs> Alright, let's continue! Let's continue! Alright? He follows it up with this, though. Let's read. We'll follow up with this. See that you do not, do not, do not despise one of these little ones. For I tell you that in heaven, their angels always see the face of my father who is in heaven. What do you think? If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them has gone astray, does, not, does he not leave the ninety-nine on the mountain? Go in search of the one that was sent astray. And if he finds it, truly, I say to you, he rejoices over it more than the 99 that never went to stray. So it is not the will of my father who is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. If your brother, actually, you know, I'm gonna pause really quick. I love this whole, this whole chunk, this whole section, because it is a, uh, it, it's, it's talking about us. It's talking about us. It's talking about sinners. It's talking about us. Right? All of us at one point have been that sheep. We might be that sheep right now. But it's talking about how, no matter how bad it gets, right? When we come back to God, He is so happy to have us there. Right? Place. Amen, Cerebral. Amen. Thank you, Archibald. Thank you. And, it, and exactly, Nora. It is also an example for us. It is also an example for us. Right? To not give up. To not give up on people. Because God values that one sheep. Right? God loves that sheep. All right, let's continue. If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you'll gain a brother. But if he does not listen, take one or two others along with you, that every, ch that every charge may be established by the evidence of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen, to them, tell it to the church. If he refuses to listen even to the church, let him be you as a Gentile and a tax collector. Basically, it's saying that, you know, it's talking about how when somebody is doing something wrong, talk to them first. If they don't understand, then bring their peers, their friends, their family to help talk to them about what they're doing wrong. If they refuse to change, then you know what? You can't always be there to fix everything for them. Right? Truly I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth shall be loosened, loosened in heaven. Again, I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For when... So, for, for where... Two or three are gathered in my name. There I am amongst them. Then Peter came up and said to him, Lord, how often will my brother sin against me? And, the, and sorry, 
When Peter came up and said to him, Lord, how often will my brother sin against me and I forgive him? As many as seven times. Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but seventy-seven times. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his servant. When he began to settle, one was brought to him who owed him ten thousand talents. And since he could not pay, his master ordered him to be sold, with his wife and children and all that he had, and payment till they made. So the servant fell to his knees, imploring him, Have patience with me, and I will pay you everything. But out of, pi and out of pity for him, the master of the servant released him and forgave him his debts. But when that same servant went out, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred denarii and seized him. He began to choke him, saying, Pay me what you owe! So his fellow servant fell down and pleaded with him, Have patience with me, and I will pay. He refused and went and put him in prison until he should pay the debt. When his fellow servant saw what had taken place, they were greatly distressed. And they went and reported it to their master all that had taken place. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you all that debt because you pleaded with me. And should not you have had mercy on your fellow servant, as I have had mercy on you? And in anger, his master delivered him to the jailers until he should pay all of his debts. So also my heavenly father will do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother from your heart. Okay, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Oh, uh, Crim Ray, welcome! Thank you for joining us today. Welcome to the congregation. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And, oh, let me take a sip. I hope it's vodka. Unfortunately, it is not. It is green tea. <laughs> you may be disappointed, but uh, at, at no point will that be the correct answer. <laughs> but thank you for the sip. Nonetheless, I would like some hydration. You know what, uh, uh, sh sh Shkala? Shkala? Is it Arizona green tea? No, it is unsweetened tea. It is, um, uh, what is it called? It's like that one that comes in the plastic bottle. Ah, uh, welcome! Oh, your name is Matthew as well? That's two Matthews in chat. No, it's not Lipton. It's like, uh, it's a Japanese brand. It's a Japanese brand. Anyway, 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 the central thesis of the parable is that our crimes against God are infinitely larger against any man's crimes. And since God always forgives us, we should forgive others. That's exactly what I was going to get to, but you summed it up much quicker than I did, Cerebro. Basically, that one, Rooster, yeah, the eat, eat to end, eat to end. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so, anyway... So, basically what it's saying is that we have done way worse things, you know? And God has forgiven us. And that's an example that we need to follow. So, when bad, you know, when somebody hurts us or sins against us, we must learn how to forgive. We must learn how to forgive, right? That's what it's telling us here. Okay? Okay, okay? Sorry for the hiccups. I don't know. I don't know how to get rid of them. They're just there forever. Alright? Alright? Let's see. It's interesting on Matthew. Uh. Oh, hold on. Matthew. An interesting. It's interesting how Matthew 18, 21 through 22 compares to Luke 17, 3 through 4. They're subtly, subtly, but importantly different because Luke's version of it brings up the importance of repentance. Oh, man. Uh, maybe I should look into that. Hold on. Hold on. Let me, 
look it up really quick so that we can compare them. Let me do it. Hold on. Let's look it up. Here we go. Pay attention to yourselves. If your brother sins, rebuke him. And if he repents, forgive him. If he sins against you seven times in a day and turns to you seven times and says, I repent, you must forgive. That's correct. It's basically talking about how people are going to mess up constantly. We're going to mess up constantly. We're going to mess up constantly. And you know what? God forgives us. Thank you for bringing the verse up. That is that is a very good verse to bring up. That sounds like he is saying it for the sake of for the sake of saying it. And he's not going to change. Well, Jarble, unfortunately for us, it's not our place to like, you know, how do I say this? If somebody sins against us and says, you know, I'm sorry, please forgive me, right? No matter what. We're supposed to forgive them. Forgiveness is not to say, you know, we just say, oh, it's okay, and we let them walk all over us. That's not what it's saying. Forgiveness is different than acceptance. There's a large, there's a very big difference, you know? Um, being able to forgive somebody, you know, is can be really difficult. Sometimes people do stuff that we don't want to forgive. But... We are... How do I say this? We want to be examples. You know? Jesus forgives people. And we should forgive people too. Right? That doesn't mean that we, you know, just let people walk all over us. It's not what it is. Basically in Luke... Alright. Basically in Luke, what Jesus brings up is that forgiveness is dependent on repentance. In order to be forgiven, somebody must want to be forgiven. Or put in another way, we are required to rebuke unrepentance in and forgive repentance in. Yes, there we go. Yes, yes, yes. It can be really hard. It can be really hard, Big Hat. It really can. Um, you know, there's people, there's a lot of us who have been really, really hurt, you know? Like, stuff that is really hard to forgive. But, think of the grace that God gives us, you know? Let's continue, though. Uh, Chris, Chris, Light? Welcome! Thank you for joining us today. Welcome to the congregation. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And, Sonic, hello. Maddie, hello. How are you? Hello, hello, hello. All right. <laughs> So, next, we're going to be talking about, like, some law stuff. Basically, it's like the, the Pharisees are going to be challenging Jesus about law. And that's what it's going to talk about next. Alright? But, it's interesting because there's a lot of parallels here that have to do with uh, Jesus and the church, basically. A lot of times, I I'll get into it in a little bit. But a lot of times when it talks about, um, you know, basically what God expects of marriage, it's talking about, not talking about specifically, but it is often reflecting the relationship that Jesus has with the church, which I think is very, very interesting. Let's read that, okay? Now when Jesus had finished these things, he went away from Galilee. Oh, we're at chapter 19, by the way. Matthew 19. Now, when Jesus had finished, when Jesus had finished these things, he went away to Galilee. Hello, Silver! Welcome! Thank you for joining us today. Welcome to the congregation. Welcome, 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 welcome. Alright. Now, when Jesus had finished these things, he went away from Galilee and entered the region of Judea beyond the Jordan. And large crowds followed him, and he healed them there. Pharisees came up to him and tested him by saying, Is it lawful to divorce one's wife for any cause? He answered, Have you not read 
he who created them from the beginning made them male and female and said therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife and the two shall become one flesh so they are no longer two but one flesh therefore god has joined together let no man separate they said to him why then did moses command one to give a certificate of divorce to send her away he said to them because of your hardness of heart moses had allowed you to divorce your wives but from the beginning it was not so when i say to you whoever divorces his wife except for immorality and marry and marries another commits adultery the disciples said to him if such in if such is the case of a man with his wife is it better not to marry uh but he said to them not everyone can receive these saying but only those to whom it is given for there are oh my gosh i don't know if i can say this word on stream but i guess it's not like profane right i guess it's not profane for there are eunuchs who have been so from birth there are those who have been made by men there are those who have been made themselves for the sake of the kingdom of heaven let the one who is able to receive this receive it if it's in the bible it's not yeah but twitch is a little funky a little funky but basically what it's saying here is that some are called that isn't a bad word i i guess i just don't know what's considered okay for twitch but <laughs> yeah it's definitely dj but what it's saying here right for this last part this last part oh i wanna i wanna so reiterate cute. the last part because i think that a lot of people kind of misunderstand what it's trying to say or they think it's weird right but it's talking about how there's different circumstances and some people are called to not you know not be married and not have kids that's that's kind of what it's saying when it says you know some are called you know for the sake of the kingdom of heaven stuff like that oh my goodness so that's kind of what it's talking about here Happy right absolutely blessed and i also somebody somebody awesome mentioned community. in chat God that they bless. love it when jesus like always like you know like gives the pharisees a little own <laughs> me too he always does it very uh very matter of fact you know he's never he's never like they're never mm, how do i say it he's very 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 matter of fact very clear about it and i always i always like that i always like that i always love that okay since it's like reading slash historical context it's okay to talk about it okay we're not going to talk about the context. Wasn't this conversation on divorce or something? No, no, no. It's with the Pharisees. It's with the Pharisees. It's with the Pharisees. Uh, if you look at if you look at verse three, it talks about it says and the Pharisees came up to him and tested him. But this is about the Pharisees. I don't want to talk about the details of what makes somebody a eunuch here, but. What it's talking about is that there's different circumstances. There's circumstances for everybody, right? There's circumstances for everybody. Let's continue, though. He disses the Pharisees, and it's awesome. Because <laughs> the Pharisees, they don't... The thing about the Pharisees... The thing about the Pharisees is... That when they're asking about this stuff... They're not trying to genuinely have a conversation with him, right? They're trying to get like an own. They're trying to get like a, see, he said this, which makes him bad, right? Hold on one second. I just noticed my mic is a little funky, little funky wonky. There. Okay. He's not, they're not trying to have a genuine conversation. They're trying to do a little gotcha. They're trying to be like, oh, look, he, he said, he said this. He said this, this is bad, look, he, he can't be who he says he is. The Pharisees equal actually, that's exactly what it is. They're the actually, because what Jesus is stressing, every time he answers them, right? Every time he answers them, he is basically talking about the, 
the will of God versus the law. Right? He's talking about the will of God versus the law. And that is the important part. And that is what Jesus is stressing. He's stressing that your your the laws and traditions are going to are, are not always going to match up with the with like you know the law. I mean sorry, with with, with God's will, right? Also, let me before we continue, let me really quickly say a thank you to Florida Man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and God bless you, Florida Man. It was one of my first mods for 20 whole months. That is almost two years. That is incredible. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and God bless you. And Ghost, thank you so much for the 11 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and God bless you. Uh, hello, uh, Super Tor. Hello, and Knowledge. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Um, I saw another notification pop up. Um, it looked like I'm pretty sure it was thrown. I'll, I'll check it in a little bit. Let's finish. Let's finish our Bible study because we're very close to being done. And then I'll look over some of the other stuff, okay? Okay, okay? All right. So now we're at Matthew 19, 13. All right? Then... <laughs> Tender! <laughs> Wait, no, I don't want to have a sad face right now. <laughs> no, it's getting down! Oh my goodness, thank you. Twist on Anomaly, thank you so much for the two runs. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and God bless you. You know what? We'll take a quick break while I have my little sad face on. And I'll check the own really quickly. Ah, hold on, no, actually, I do want to finish Bible study. I do want to finish Bible study. Can I... <laughs> Can I? Can I unsadden my face while I read and then resad it afterwards? I'll give you an extra. I'll give you a free, a freebie. Okay? We'll refund the points and I'll do the redeem. All right? <laughs> oh, you guys! All right, we'll keep reading. Hi, hi, Captain Cube. Hello, who are you? All right, let's continue though. Okay? Let's continue though. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna keep the sad face, okay? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna keep the sad face and we're gonna read. But just know I am very happy to be reading, okay? So we're at Matthew 19 verse 13. Then children were brought to him that they may lay his that that he may lay his hands on them and pray. The the disciples rebuked the people. But Jesus said, Let the little ones come to me and do not hinder them. For to such belongs the kingdom of heaven. And he laid his hands on them and went away. And behold, a man came up to him saying, Teacher, oh goodness, thank you. what good deed must I do to have eternal life? And he said to him, Why do you ask me about what is good? There is only one who is good. If you would enter light, keep the commandments. He said to him, Which one? And Jesus said, you shall, not, you shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall, shall not bear false witness. Honor your father and mother, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Thank you, by the way, uh, speaking of loving your neighbor, thank you, Tender! Thank you for the gift and sub to come to give! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, and God bless you. Also, sleep in chariot, welcome! Thank you for joining us today. Welcome to the congregation. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let us continue. He rhymes good with good. Major respect! <laughs> now that is a powerful rhyme, right? <laughs> okay. The young man said, All these things I have kept. What do I still lack? Jesus said to him, If you would be perfect, go. Sell what you possess, and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. And come, follow me. When the young man heard this, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possession. This is telling us that nobody is perfect, right? Because this guy is saying that he kept all of those commands. But here he is, being greedy. He's being greedy. So Jesus is reminding us that nobody, no human, 
is perfect enough for us to get to heaven, which is why we need Jesus Christ. Can I get an A? Oh, can I get an amen? Can I get an amen in the chat? Can I get an amen for that? Amen. right you're very rich surely you won't mind surely you won't mind giving your possessions to the poor you got a lot of really expensive stuff why not go out and sell it and give to the poor because you know obviously you're a very good guy you must be perfect which means you have no greed in your heart right surely you are not selfish right right that's what he's talking about here right also, thank you, uh, TK! Welcome! Thank you for joining us today! Welcome to the congregation! Welcome, welcome, welcome! And closer, thank you for the bits! Thank you, thank you, thank you! And God bless you! Let's continue though, okay? We are on Matthew 19, verse 23. And that there is no good outside of God. There it is. Boom! That's what it's talking about. It says there's only one who is good. There is only one who is truly good. And I got a hit. It's not me. It's not you. The big man upstairs. God. It's... Alright. Let's continue. And Jesus said to his disciples. Truly I say to you. Only with difficulty. Will a rich person enter the kingdom of heaven. Again, I tell you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished, saying, Who then can be saved? But Jesus looked at them and said, With a man, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. There it is. I'm going to reread this verse. I'm going to reread this verse, right? Oh, we can actually, uh, Naruto, we can actually read about this in my study Bible. We'll read about this in my study Bible, okay? We'll read about it through my study Bible. So, don't let me forget, okay? Remind me, remind me, and I will make sure, and I will go back and we'll read it together. Got it? Got it. Uh, ba, 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 kata? Welcome! Thank you for joining us today. Welcome to the congregation. Welcome, welcome, welcome! All right. So now we are at nine, Matthew 19.26. I want to read this again. I want to reread this again. Matthew 19.26. But Jesus looked at them and said, With a man it is impossible, but with God all things are possible. A, a wonderful verse. A wonderful verse. Don't forget this one. Don't forget this guy, okay? Jesus said to them, Truly I say to you, in the new world, when the Son of Man will sit on his glorious throne, you who have followed me will also sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has left houses or brothers or sisters or fathers or mothers or children to land for my name's sake will receive a hundredfold and will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last first. There we go. There we go. All right. There we go. Hello and welcome. Cryogenic, welcome. Wait. Wait. Were you already following? Because I know your name. Well, regardless, welcome. Thank you for joining us today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, he is telling people to be home. 
Let us open my study Bible and take a look at... Take a look. Oh, you have two accounts? Oh, well, welcome your second account, cryogenic. <laughs> Let us look at Matthew 24, though. Let me get my study Bible out. I'll be right back. And by right back, I mean, like, like right here. I just need to grab it off of the shelf. <laughs> okay. So. Do -do -do. All right. Um, where is it? Where is it? I'm looking for it on, on my thing. I'm looking for it on my Bible, my, my study Bible. Okay, hold on one second, give me a moment. The text is kind of small, and my brain is even smaller than the text. So it's gonna take me a second to find it. Um, I, so the streams are non-denominational, Fontaine, but everybody is welcome here, all right? Okay, give me one second. Give me one second. Looking. Let me find it. Um, you said it was. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It was Matthew nineteen twenty four. Nineteen twenty. Twenty. So, again, so Jesus was not setting forth terms for salvation, but rather exposing the young man's true heart. His refusal to obey here revealing two things. He was not blameless as far as the law was concerned because he was guilty of loving himself and his possessions more than his neighbors. He lacked true faith, which involves a willingness to surrender all to Christ's bidding. Jesus was not teaching salvation by phil philanthropy, but he was demanding that the young man give him first place. The young man failed the test. This was the answer to the young man's question. It was a call to faith. It is likely the young man has never heard or contemplated, though because his own love of his possessions was such a stumbling block that he had already rejected Jesus' claims to lordship over his life. Thus, he walked away in disbelief. So, now it's getting to 24, okay? So, Jesus was underscoring the impossibility of anyone's being saved by merit. Since wealth was deemed proof of God's approval, those who had it could give more alms. It was commonly thought that the rich people were the most likely candidates for heaven. See note on Mark 10, 20. Mark 10, 25! Write that down! Write that down! Guys, write that down, okay? Jesus destroyed that notion. And along with it, the notion that anyone can merit enough divine favor to gain entrance to heaven. All right, there it is. Plain and simple. This verse is talking about how tradition often saw that people who were rich had, uh, had, like, you know, were, were favored by God. But here is Jesus, plain and simple, saying, your actions, your fortune, do not dictate what gets you into heaven. There it is. All right? Thank you, everybody who wrote it down! Oh, uh, hello, uh, Ike, Ike Shudo? Hello, welcome. Um, we're actually going over some stuff that we read. Um, let me, did I, hold on, I think I closed my Bible. I think I accidentally closed my Bible before we were finished. Yeah, I did. That's okay, that's okay. We're, all, we're, we're gonna be reading one more chapter after this. I just wanted to go into, um, I wanted to go into my study Bible and talk about this. Thank you, Sleepy Chariot. I'm really happy to have you here. Welcome! But, okay. Uh, 
It down. Thank you, Coaster. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Water Tool. Thank you. Thank you. And God bless you as well. Thank you. All right. So let's go to Mark 1025. Thank you, Ray, for the bits. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you, Mark. Where are you, Mark? Yeah! Okay, Mark, what was it? Five, hold on. Uh, 1025. I was like, 525, 1025. Mark 1025. Hold on one second. I'm gonna turn to this. I'm gonna read it really quickly and then we'll get back. All right. Thank you, for the Thank you so much to God for the busy. Oh, guys, I'm sorry. Before I continue, I want to say um, happy belated birthday, Servant of God. Happy belated birthday. Hey, and welcome. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Servant of God. Happy birthday to you. A little belated. Let me read what it says in Mark here. I'm reading, sorry, I actually have the, the New King James Version open for the Mark verse just because I was reading my study Bible. All right. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Here we go. All right. The, let's see. The Persians expressed impossibility by saying it would be easier to put an elephant through an eye of a needle. Uh, this was a Jewish colloquial adaptation of the expression den denoting impossibility. All right. Many improbable interpretations have arisen that attempt to soften the phrase... Uh, uh, for example, needle referring to a tiny gate in Jerusalem city wall. The camels could enter only with difficulty, but there was no evidence that such gate existed. And, it, and if it had, any sensible camel driver would simply found a larger gate. <laughs> I think it's funny they included that. I think it's funny they included that. Like it's talking about, uh, it's talking about like the other translations and why one translation is actually better than another not like you know saying oh ours is like the better one like go go team new king james version you know but it's talking about how it's talking about how like the actual context of the translation also american Airlines. <laughs> welcome to the congregation welcome 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 but it's actually talking about the context here. So that's why I like. That's why I like. Um, my study Bible. Because it talks about the context. Talks about the context. Give me one second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read the rest of this. Okay? So. Well. Okay. So it's saying. Let's see, or the copyist's error resulting in Camelos, camel, being substituted for Camelos, which is a rope or cable, but a large rope could no more go through the eye of the needle than a camel could. And it is extremely unlikely that the text of all three synoptic gospels would have been changed in exactly the same way. Jesus uses this illustration to, was to explicitly say that salvation by human effort is impossible. It is wholly by God's grace. Um, let's see. The Jews believe that with alms a man's purchased salvation. So the more wealth one had, the more alms he could give. The more sacrifices and offerings he, he could offer, thus purchasing redemption. The disciples questioned, made it clear that they understood what Jesus meant. That not even the rich could buy salvation. So, once again, 
it is bringing this up because Matthew was written to specifically highlight the differences between the old laws, the old tradition, right? So that's why it's talking about this here as well, which is very interesting, very interesting. Jesus is literally comparing the beliefs, the laws, right? The laws with the will of God. That's what it's saying here. All right. Let me continue. We are going to read now. We are going to read now chapter 20. Stray Bolts, welcome. Thank you for joining us today. Welcome to the congregation. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's continue. Let's continue. Oh, uh, by the way, did that answer your question, uh, Naruto? Did that, did that answer your question? Like, did that bring a little bit of a, little bit of, like, context to what you were questioning? Yeah. Not to get too off topic, but what is your favorite passage? That is very hard to choose just one, but the one... I like to answer. Actually, Chad, do you know it? Uh, well, it wasn't a question. Sorry, it was, it was, a, it was the comment that you made about um Matthew. You said I heard that Matthew nineteen twenty four is actually a reference to one of the city gates. It actually talks about here how that was actually part of a translation error. There you go. Well, not a translation error, but with more so a mistranslation, I guess. Thank you, potato. Thank you. I was waiting for somebody to give the correct answer. Austin 360. <laughs> but I really like John uh, 1633 because it is reminding us that Jesus overcame the world for us. Right? What's the difference between... I guess, I guess... They're technically the same thing, but I would think that the difference would be like, I don't know, misreading versus like an actual like mistake that they didn't, that they didn't catch. But, um, but yes, I, I really like John 16, 33 because it's Jesus talking about how he overcame everything. For us. In this life, you will have tribulation. You will have pain. But take heart, for I have overcome the world. Jesus is saying that he felt that. He felt that. And on the cross, he took on all of our sin, all of our pain, all of our guilt, all of our misery, right? So, he really, truly overcame the world so that verse is kind of like a reminder about how we're not alone and that you know even if we feel alone jesus overcame the world for us and i think that's really beautiful that's why that's why when people ask me that's why i say that's my favorite because it's there's a lot of answers, but that is the one that I turn to because I really, really, really want people to remember, right? That not only, not only did he, he die for us, but he was human, right? Jesus was here and he was human. And he felt sorrow, he felt pain. He felt all of these things, right? So, when he says that we are going to go through difficulties, he knows. He knows what that feels like. When John the Baptist was killed, he was hurt. He saw his friends die and he, and he felt that pain. He mourned. He cried. He even went away to get alone time to mourn his, the people that he loved. Right? So, when he says, take heart, for I have overcome the world. Right? That is him. Not only saying that he 
died for us. Well, at that point, it'll be, he's going to die for us. But him saying that he has already gone through all of these things that we have gone as people. Right? He's felt all of these things. So, that's why it's my favorite verse. Sorry, I got really off track here. I got really off track here. Let's continue. We're on, we're on chapter 20. We're Matthew chapter 20, okay? Let's get... Hello! Uh, uh... Go... Go Ken... Go Ken... Go Kenshi. Yes? Go Kenshi. Hello! Welcome to the chat! Welcome, welcome. So, we are now going to read Matthew chapter 20. Uh, hello, uh, Diviner. How are you? For we do not know a high priest who does not know our sufferings. Amen! Amen, amen, amen. Exactly. Let's continue, though. I'm getting really, really off track here. I, I went on a whole tangent about my favorite Bible verse. But let's continue, okay? We are on Matthew chapter 20. So, if you do not have your physical Bible with you, exclamation point, Bible, follow along. Put Matthew 20 in the search bar. I am using the ESV translation, and you can follow along with me. All right, let's go, let's go. All right. For the kingdom of heaven is like a master of a house who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with the laborers for a denarius a day, he sent them into his vineyard. And going out by the third hour, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace. And to them, he said, You go into the vineyard too, and whatever is right, I will give you. And they went, going out again, about the sixth hour and the ninth hour, he did the same. And about the eleventh hour, he went out and found others standing. And he said to them, Why do you stand here idle all day? They said to him, Because no one has hired us. He said to them, Go into the vineyard too. And when the evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, Call the laborers and pay them their wages, beginning with the last and up to the foot. And when those hired about the eleventh hour came, each of them received a denarius. But when, now when those hired first came, they thought that they would receive more. But each of them also received a denarius. And on receiving it, they grumbled at the master of the house, saying, These last worked only one hour, and you are born the burden of a day and the scorched heat? But he replied to one of them, Friend, I am doing you no wrong. Did you not agree with me, for a denarius? Take what belongs to you and go. I choose to give this last worker as I give to you. Am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me? Or do you begrudge my generosity? For the last will be first and the first last. I want to talk about this in my study bubble, too. I want to talk about... Oh, should I do it? We'll do it afterwards, guys! Remind me to look up the first part of Matthew 20 in my study bubble, okay? Don't let me forget. Don't let me forget. And as Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, he took the twelve aside, and on the way, said to him, See, we are going up to Jerusalem. I, I want to get it more, I want to dive more into detail about it, Ranger, because I have a feeling that the study Bible is going to have some really good words about it. Alright. See, we are going up to Jerusalem. And the Son of Man will be delivered over to the chief priests and scribes. And they will condemn him to death. And deliver him over to the Gentiles to be mocked and flogged and crucified. And he will be raised on the third day. Then the mother of the sons of Zebedee came up to him with her sons, kneeling before him. She asked him for something. And he said to her, What do you want? She said to him, 
Say that these two sons of mine are to sit, one at your right hand and one at your left hand in your kingdom. Jesus answered, You do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I am able that I am to drink? They said to him, We are able. He said to them, You will drink my cup, but to sit at my right hand and at my left is not mine to grant. But it is for those for whom it has been prepared by my father. And when the ten heard it, they were indignant at, at the two brothers. But Jesus called them to him and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones exercise authority over them. But it shall not be so among you. But whoever would be great among you must be your servant. And whoever would be first among you must be your slave. Even as the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for men. Basically, it's telling us to be humble and not want greatness, but to want to do good. Right? Possibly the earliest form of a Karen history. <laughs> Yes! Once again, going back to humility. Yes, yes, yes. And you know, when it talks about humility, I often think about um, the prophecies where it talks about how the about how Jesus would be humble. Right? Talks about how he would talk softly. How he would be humble. Right? Alright, let's continue though. Let's continue. We are at Matthew 20. 29, right? And as they went out of Jericho, a great crowd followed him. And behold, there were two blind men sitting, sitting by the roadside. And when they heard that Jesus was passing by, they cried out, Lord, have mercy on us, son of David. The crowd rebuked them, telling them to be silent. But they cried out all the more, Lord, have mercy on us, son of David. And stopping, Jesus called them and said, What do you want me to do to you, for you? They said to him, Lord, let our eyes be open. And Jesus, in pity, touched their eyes. And immediately they recovered their sight and followed him. Dun, 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 dun. That is the reading we are going to do today. We'll hang out for a little bit more and talk and hang out. Because I need to look up that part um, in my uh, in my study Bible, I want to look up. I want to look up the beginning part of Matthew twenty in my study Bible. Thank you, Kibby. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I gotta put one of those guys on. I gotta put one of those guys on. Let me do it. Thank you! Oh, huh. uh, Welcome! It's been a while, how are you? Thank you so much for the six months! <gasps> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, God bless you. Oh, uh, that's okay, Jimmy! Thank you again for hanging out with us! Have a... Oh, that one, that one kind of hurt. <laughs> thank you for hanging out with us! Have an amazing rest of the day, and God bless you! Let me take a sip and then I'm gonna open up my study bubble. <laughs> okay, maybe that wasn't as refreshing as it felt. I ended up. Hold on. Sorry, I. <laughs> I choked a little. Okay, we respectfully ask for the return of the mystery orbs. There are no more mystery orbs. I don't know what you're talking about. There's no mystery orbs. <laughs> They're not here. No, 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 no. No. Okay, hold on. Matthew 20. So Sister Abigail's a little choked up. <laughs> Why is that so quiet? 
quiet. Hold on. <laughs> Why is it so quiet? Hold on. I'm looking at my I'm looking at my OBS. Kind of quiet. Okay, that sounds better. That sounds a little better. All right, let me open up to. We're not contemplating the orbs. <laughs> Pondering the orbs. Hi, Rabbit! How are you? Hello! <laughs> Distant drum solo. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, that's really cool! Sorry, I opened up to my study Bible and it has like a table that lists all of the parables that Jesus told. And And it's very interesting. It looks like Matthew has a lot of parables, but then there's like a whole chunk that aren't in Matthew. Like, there's a big chunk of parables that are only in Luke. And it looks like Luke is the most parable-heavy book out of the gospel. Sorry, I'm getting I'm getting sidetracked again. I'm getting sidetracked again. <gasps> hello, Reynard! How are you? Hello, hello, hello. Uh, let me... Uh, uh, Strider, welcome! Alright, hold on. Okay! So, here it is, all right? Here it is. So I am reading the study, the study section for um, the beginning part of Matthew 20. So, it is talking about the parables, the parable, right? The man was acting graciously to those whom he overpaid. This was no slight against those whom he paid full wages for a full day's work. That was precisely what they agreed to in the beginning. But it was his privilege to extend the same generosity to all. In other words, everyone finishes in the dead heat. No matter how long each of the workers worked, they each simply reserve they each similarly similarly hold up. Similarly, the thief wait, hold on. I completely got, I got completely, like, discombobulated. Okay. In other words, everyone finishes in a dead heat. No matter how long each of the workers worked, they each received a full day's wage. Similarly, the thief on the cross will enjoy the full blessings of heaven, along with those who have labored their whole lives for Christ. Such is the grace of God. So, it's basically talking about how, when, what do I say? Salvation is salvation. So, when God, when we are saved, right? It is for all of us. And it's not because it's what we deserve. It's what God has given to us. Right? Uh, I'll tell you. Because it's the gospel. Yeah, maybe I'll do the one with Uh, Luke is the most poetic of the gospel, so having the most parables seems to. Yes, yes, and somebody else, somebody else mentioned because each, yes, each of the gospels. Each of the Gospels was written for a different crowd, right? And and I mentioned that when I first started. When I first started, we originally... So the whole reason why we're reading through the Gospels to become number one, I think it's probably the most important part of the Bible to read if you're a first time reading the Bible, right? So if it's the first time reading the Bible, this is an important, the most important place to start, right? But I also wanted to do this because I wanted to do a little, like, educational stream afterwards about, 
like what each of the Gospels is about, the differences between them, and stuff like that. That's what I want to do. So that's kind of what we're reading. Because each of these is written for a different crowd. Do I look a bit more each day? How long has it been since you've been here, Plasma? Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna cheat and I'm gonna look. Oh, uh, the, so the last time... The last time you were here was in January. And you said... Hello, sister, I see. And no, well, it's been a little bit more than that. You've, you've, you've been here after that. But, you've been here since my new model. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm just clearer. Maybe I just, maybe I'm just having a good day. Maybe I got a haircut. You like my haircut? Got a HD haircut. I'm using, I'm using my, uh, my Twitch, my Twitch powers to look at, uh, to look at stuff. The AR kit do be looking fancy. You know, I actually, uh, I have the program for, uh, what is it called? Oh my goodness, thank you! For Love the stuff that I would back. need to and have that birthday. kind of tracking cake. on my Live 2D. But I don't have it activated right now. Right now, I am just using the incredible, oh goodness, the incredible rigging you. that uh, Lua Lucky gave me. Yeah. Uh, thank you, by the way, Crimson. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank God you bless you. Well, Crimson, you were for eight months. Thank you so much. Thank you for the eight months. Let's go. And uh, Scotty, oh, thank you so much for the God. three months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Wait. Second, Scotty, hold on. Three months in advance, Scotty. Thank you. Um, it is. I, it always like it always like surprises me when people pay like a few months in advance because you must really be you must really be enjoying it if, if you do that. So thank you. I'm glad. I am glad that you are. Um, you know, getting getting something out of out of this. I'm really happy that I can do this. I'm really happy that I can read, that I can, you know, spend time with you guys, that we can talk about this stuff, because it's really important, you know? I think it's really, I think it's really special that I can be here and that I can do this, and that God has built such an incredible community. I talk about it a lot. I know I talk about it a lot, but I just want to reiterate, you know? And thank you, by the way, Rooster and Coaster for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, God bless you. Uh, no thing. Welcome to the congregation. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, hello. How are you? Hello, Basilisk. I am doing wow. How are you? Talk about what, Abby? Talk about God's word. Talk about the Bible. Talk about Jesus. Talk about what it's saying. You know? That's what. Hello. What? Wait, hold on. Uh, uh, oh, Saitama! Welcome! Thank you for joining us today. Welcome to the congregation. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And Risky! Thank you so oh much for the eleven months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. God bless prayers. you. Abby love prayers. Abby love. Just got back from camping. <gasps> welcome back, Orc. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. How was camping? Something important to understand is that. The thing about the Lord's love is that it is boundless. It cannot be quantified. So to ask if you and heaven will receive more infinite love than another falls apart at the core question. That's a great way to word it. That's a great way to word it. Because it's talking about how you can't quantify the love and the kindness that God has given us. It was fun. I met a lot of friends and friends. Nice! Me meeting people and making friends is always good. Always good. <laughs> you have the same name as me. <gasps> a fellow Abby in chat. Welcome, fellow Abby. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. Let me change the name of the. Let me change the name of the 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 stream since we're just chatting. Uh, comfy chit chat time. There. Now everybody knows what's going on. Everybody knows what's going on. We just finished 
reading Matthew 18 through 20. We read 18, 19, and all of 20 together. Yeah. Hello, Abby. And welcome. Welcome. Thank you for joining us today, fellow Abby. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Hold on. I I just realized something. I need to move something. My alerts cut into the border just a little bit. <gasps> Abigail read so many words today. We are all very proud of her. <laughs> I read a lot of words today. Some of them were really long words, oh too. Thank you. <gasps> Crimson! Thank you so much for the gifted sub to my fellow Abby! Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Read the entire Bible right now. No. Yeah, my cellular brain cells sure had a fantastic workout today. Now, where are my alerts? Hold on, I gotta fix my alerts. Where's my alert? Uh, where, where are they? Why am I so bad at streaming? Why am I so bad at streaming? Oh, there they are, there they are. Okay, alert, alert. Uh, scoot it over just there. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Read Samson, but not on stream. Maybe we'll talk about uh, we'll talk about the judges after, after uh, like after we talk about uh, the gospels. Yeah. Hello. Uh. Uh. Hi, Amadeo. How are you? All right. But uh, let's see. Read the entire Bible now. No, you know what? I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest, all right? I cannot lie to you. I cannot lie to you and say I will do it because I will not. I will not read the entire Bible right now. I'm sorry, I can't. Um, you know who did though? Is is Dustin? All right. Pastor Dustin did it. Pastor Dustin um read the entire Bible on stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I do like music, uh, cry cryogenic. This sounds really lame, but I'm not very good at, like, identifying bands I listen to. I just kind of listen to stuff. <laughs> How long did it take you? You know what? I don't actually know. Because this was before I started watching him, I believe. He does read the gospel, though. He has a point of text that he reads. Yeah. discussion channel on the discord um oh by the way we are probably going to be changing a little bit of stuff in the discord soon so stay stay alert okay also hello peach hello peach hello 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 and uh britsky welcome thank you for joining us today welcome to the congregation welcome 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 need some prayers Need to sell my house so I can move to a new state. Absolutely, absolutely. You know what's something that I wanted to start doing? I wanted to start doing this. I don't have... I don't currently have a notebook to do this in. Like, I have a prayer notebook, but it's, like, for, for myself, I guess. Like, it's for, like, I, I talk about, like, my introspection. Um, I have the prayer channel on the Discord that I use and my whiteboard... But I do want to have a whole separate prayer, like, binder for stream. And I think starting next Sunday, every Sunday, I'm going to be taking...
everybody's prayer requests on stream. And we're gonna start stream after, after, like, um, after we do our readings. We'll take down all of the prayer requests and start doing them on stream, okay? The reason why I'm not gonna do it that style right now is just because I, uh, I, I, I wanna have, like, a designated notebook for it. Well, I guess I could get out a note- I could get out my notepad, like my little computer notepad, hold on. We can use WordPad! Alright. I find the Bible confusing sometimes. You know what, you know what, Basilisk? You and every scholar, you know? There's stuff that people talk about to this day. I- I talked to a very good friend recently about how, like, 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 how the Bible can confuse even people. Like, there's certain parts that can confuse people, you know? Even people who know a lot about the Bible, they can still wonder, you know? Well, yeah, that's exactly what I was saying, Abby, is that I want to take everybody's prayers here on the stream because I want to pray for everybody here on the stream. So... You don't need to be sorry, it's just I like to stay on a specific topic when I'm on stream because it's really hard for me to keep up with chat because there is a lot of people in chat and my brain will never adjust to the fact that there are several people in chat. <laughs> um, but I would like to take, pra I'll take some prayer requests. I'll take some prayer requests today. I'll take some prayer requests today. So if anybody has any prayer requests, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them down on my little word pad. So if you see my eyes open during prayer, it's just because I'm gonna be reading everybody's prayer requests, okay? So I'm be like, hey, Abby, close your eyes! Cause, cause I'm gonna be reading them. Okay? So if anybody has a prayer request they would like to give, hold on! Let me scroll up to get, um, uh, Britsy's, um, prayer request. Oh. All right! Does anybody have any prayer requests? Does anybody have any prayer requests? Okay. Um, uh, my mom... Wait, so Abby's mom's surgery. Abby... Abby! I have a couple. My... Stepson. Oh, all right, all right. You can, you can make it as general as you want, okay? Oh, I, I accidentally didn't put the whole thing. I just put except. <laughs> all right. My only sickness. See, so if you want to be, if you want to be specific, you can. If you want to be general, if you say I just need prayer, you can. All right. All right, so to God, I got yours. <laughs> and then next week, I'm going to have my little prayer notebook. But... Let's see. All right. Give me a moment, everybody. I'm just catching up with everybody's prayers. Um... God... Definitely has a plan, but I will pray for confidence, security, and that, you know, things will go well. A prayer for everybody's well-being, absolutely, absolutely. All right, Sarista. Next surgery, all right. Alright. Okay, already have a great vacation. Absolutely. I hope she has a fantastic vacation. Uh yes. Yes, for the slip for the sorry, I don't know. I don't know if I was supposed to talk about the, the, the details on stream. I'm sorry, I was about to I was about to talk about it, but I realized that, you know, I, I might not I might not should, you know? Alright. Sorry, uh, take, give me one moment. There's a lot of prayer requests here. There's a lot of prayer requests here. There's a lot. There's a lot. So give me a moment. 
Uh, there's actually more than I anticipated. Uh, one thing. Um. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You do not need to be specific. All right. All right. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, all right, everybody. Prayers for guidance, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. I just, prayer is so important, guys. Prayer is so important. And I, I get, I get, sometimes I get a little nervous praying on stream, not for anything, like, bad. I just feel like, uh, I, I, I don't know, sometimes I get nervous. I get nervous because, you know, usually my prayers are either in, like, in-person groups or between me and God. But prayer is so important, and I don't want to exclude anybody, right? I don't want to exclude anybody. So I really want to take this time to pray with everybody, you know? So um, I, I will. Do you need prayer for anything, Abby? I want God to just continue to give me, um, basically, I want God to continue to guide me the direction that I need to go, right? I want to always honor him and make what I do something that is going to honor him. So even when we're being silly and we're not reading the Bible and we're doing stuff, I want to always continue to honor him through my work. So, uh, I would like some prayer just that God continues to give me the wisdom that I need, that God continues to give me the patience that I need. Stuff like that. Uh, please pray. Absolutely, Smug. Absolutely. Absolutely. I will absolutely pray. I need prayer in general. Absolutely. All right. Hello, uh, welcome. Uh, Miko, welcome! Thank you for joining us today. Welcome to the congregation. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My kids are nervous when we when they first started to pray in public when we eat because prayer can be prayer can be really personal for a lot of people, I think. I think that prayer can be really personal and really like, you know, like it's it can be a conversation between, you know. God and us. So it's like some people get a little shy and some people also get nervous because I think that some people think that there's expectations on them how to pray. And that's kind of what I wanted to work on on stream is basically show everybody that it's not it's not like prayer is important. We should we should pray together. Right? I'm gonna take a sip and then we'll get started, okay? Okay. Alright. Um, I'm gonna have my eyes open just letting you guys know. But everybody, let's bow our heads and pray. Alright? Uh, dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day. I thank you for everybody here today. I thank you for their, their lives, their minds, their thoughts. I thank you for just creating all of us. For creating this amazing world, creating this incredible community. I thank you. Um, oh, I am gonna close chat though, so I don't get distracted. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, God! <laughs> sorry, God, I, I, I interrupted, but thank you, God, just for everything. Thank you for this incredible community. Thank you for this beautiful Sunday. Thank you for the fact that we can be here, that we can talk about this together, that we can read together and grow in your word and learn and understand from each other. Thank you so much. I have a lot of people that I want to lift up today. Um, I have a whole bunch of people here. For all of those people who weren't, you know, able to give requests, didn't feel comfortable giving requests, or just would prefer to lurk, um, I pray that you watch over all of them, that you guide them, that you give them whatever peace or wisdom, or you guide them however they need to be. Whatever healing they need, whatever wisdom they need, I pray that you give that to them. Um, I want to lift up, uh, Britsky today. 
um, Brizzy is selling their house and moving to a new state. I pray that this entire, this entire thing goes smoothly. I pray that the house gets sold quickly and that they're able to take the funds that they have gotten from this and start a new life somewhere. Um, I pray for Abby, uh, other Abby, <laughs> so that, uh, for their mother. Um, I pray that, uh, the surgery goes well, that she is able to heal, and that she is able to be stronger than she was before the surgery. I pray that you lay your healing hand on her, so that she can not just get through this, but thrive. Um, I pray for Rooster's stepson. Um, he is going to be selling or putting in an offer for a new home. I pray that you watch over him. I pray that your will be done. And if that it is to get this house, I pray that the offer is accepted and this move goes smoothly. Um, I pray for, uh, Ikishudo, for, uh, their family. I pray that you lay your healing hand on the family. I pray that... You will also guide Ikishudo through the job situation. I pray that they're able to find a job, that they're able to go down the path that you want for them, and that your will is done in this situation. Uh, I pray for Servant of God. Um, I pray that you will help him down his path. I pray that whatever your will is for his life, whatever your plan is for his life, that you will give him the security, the peace that he needs in this time. It can be really scary when you're at crossroads between things. And I pray that you just continue to guide him. Um, I pray for a hand. I pray that you help him during his difficult time as well. Uh, he's been feeling alone lately. And he moved recently. And I pray that you will just help him find a community. I pray that you will help him find friends. Because being alone can be really difficult. I also hope... Uh, I also pray that you will... Um, you know, maybe give him, you know, a little, a little push in the right direction so that he can start finding some friends. Um, I pray for Jackus, who is leaving his job and is going to, um, start trades. Um, I pray that you will help him during this transitional period. I pray that you will help keep him afloat. I pray that you will help him when he goes to, um, learn in, um, the trades. I pray that you will help him retain the knowledge, work hard, and your will be done in this situation. Um, I pray for Zarista. I pray for Zarista's father. Um, he is currently not, not doing your will. Um, there's currently some sin in his life. Some really difficult things. I pray that you will, you know, guide him in the right direction. I pray that you will give him the clarity that he needs to return to you. To return to you return from these things that he is doing and return to a good life. I pray for Rukia. Um, I pray for Rukia's friend Billy who's having neck surgery. I pray for... I'm sorry if there's a noise in the background. Uh, Ruby is currently playing with the phone. Uh, sorry, God. My friend Billy, uh, uh, Rukia's friend Billy is having neck surgery. It'll take about six months for him to recover and I pray that you will be with him every step of the way. I pray that his recovery is smooth. I pray that his surgery is smooth. And he will not only be healed and will recover, but that he will be thriving as well. Um, I pray for Crimson. I pray for, um, that when he hears back from the application for where he wants to work. Um, I pray that wherever his career path is taking him, I pray that you will guide him. You will give him the strength. The wisdom that he needs to continue. Um, I also pray that Kiori has an excellent and restful vacation. She's very hardworking. And she definitely deserves some, some wonderful time to herself. Um, I pray that you will just keep her safe while she is away. And I pray that when you return, she is refreshed and ready to have fun with everybody. Um, I pray for uh, Potatoes of Partner's father. I pray that... Um, the father will heal quickly, swiftly, and that that he will be not only healed, but he will be living a fulfilled life. Um, I pray that you keep your healing hand on him and you just guide him during his treatment. I pray for Kibby, who's starting a new job. I pray that you will give Kibby the wisdom and the strength 
to be able to do well in the job. Um, doing a new job can be a little intimidating, so Lord, I just pray that you, you know, help Kibby along. Um, and if Kibby has a hard time, you know, starting the job, I pray that you will just continue to give Kibby peace of mind. I know that it can be very hard starting a new job, so I just pray that you guide Kibby every step of the way. I pray for Risky. I pray, um, for just their, their job prospects and everything that is going on. Um, it seems that the company has been laying off a lot of people, so I pray that you just guide Risky down the path that they need to be on. I pray that you keep them safe, that you keep them where they need to be, and your will be done. Uh, Becca Chu? Um, I want to pray for Becca Chu. Um, I need accessibility. God will know. I pray for accessibility. Whatever Becca Chu is going through, um, I pray that you will just take care of them. Whatever is in their heart, whatever they need prayer for, I pray that your will be done in the situation. Uh, I pray for, uh, Fataku's, a uh, mother. I pray that she will be healed. She, her eyes are not doing well, and I pray that you will put your healing hand upon her and heal her eyes. I pray that you will help give her either treatment or whatever whatever option she needs right now, I pray it will be given to her. Uh, I pray for Fee Finger. Um, I pray that you will give him guidance. I pray that you will give him peace. Whatever Fee Finger is going through, I pray that you will give him um, what he needs in this situation and your will be done. Um, I pray for Basilisk. I pray for their life. I pray for whatever they are going through as well. I pray that you will just guide them down the path that they need. I pray that you will give them the wisdom they need, the courage they need, the strength that they need. And whatever hurt they might be going through, I pray that you will heal that as well. Um, I, and lastly, I pray for uh, Smug. I pray that you will help guide her to learn how to forgive, even when it's hard. I pray that you will soften her heart. I pray that whatever is going on, that you will help guide her with peace. I pray that you will give her peace. I pray that you will give her patience. And I pray that you will give her the wisdom that she needs. Forgiving people can be really hard. It can be really hard and sometimes people hurt us. Hurt us in ways we don't even realize. And God, that is why we turn to you. I pray God that you will help her understand what she needs to do. I pray that you will soften her heart. I pray that you will give her peace. He has said only you. I thank you, God, for this day. I thank you for every single person here. And I thank you that we have this opportunity to be here together on a platform like Twitch talking about your word, your will, and your plan for us. For everyone who did not put in a prayer request, for everybody you know, who has a prayer in their heart, I pray that you will speak to them, that you will give them what they need in this time. Your will be done. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, let me open chat back up now. All right. Oh, Jay, don't worry. I'm going to pray more after stream. I promise I'm going to pray more after stream. I had closed stream. Um, after. Did I miss some? I think it, I think the, the prayer requests that I missed are after, after I started praying. Um, I'm gonna write them down though and I promise I will pray. Promise, promise. I pray, I pray for all of you. Every day. And the prayer requests that I take on my, my Discord I always do. But... Um, I have them written down here. Okay? Let me scroll up and take the prayer requests I missed. As a vet, it's a bit scary to be the new guy. Wish me luck with friends. Oh my goodness! I'll say- I can say a quick prayer for both of you, though. I'll say a quick prayer, okay? Say a really quick prayer for you too, okay? A very, very, very quick. 
part one, okay? Um, let me cover chat again so I don't get distracted. Hey, also, I'm hello, so Sly! Welcome! Thank you for joining us today. Welcome to the congregation. Welcome, welcome, welcome! Alrighty, hold on one second. Okay! Um, uh, dear Lord, we come back to you today to include a couple of friends that I wasn't able to pray for initially, but I want to bring them up to you as well. Um, I pray for Jake Kim. Um, I pray for, um, you know, for his new job. I pray that you will watch over him. Um, it can be really scary starting a new job and being alone and not knowing anybody or going into a workplace with a brand new, you know, like, style or culture. Um, I pray that you will give them bravery and strength and understanding. Patience if things aren't exactly as he needs at first. However, I know with time that you will give him what he needs. Um, I pray for Diva, that you will watch over her. I pray that whatever turmoil and discourse that is going on in her head and in her heart, I pray that you will help give her the peace and the knowledge that she needs. I pray that whatever difficulties that she is going through, whatever insecurities that she has, Lord, that you will put them to rest. Thank you, God, for all the amazing things that you do for us, and thank you for this amazing Sunday. I thank you for the opportunity to be able to do this, be able to speak of you and your word, and to be able to pray with everybody here on Twitch. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. All right, all right, all right. We got our, hey, our prayers welcome. together. I got them all saved here. I do want like a physical notebook. There's something really nice about being able to write it down, you know? Uh, Meadow, welcome! Thank you for joining us today. Welcome to the congregation. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, yeah, I just... I, I, I... I'm really grateful to be able to do this, and... Oh, uh, don't worry, servant of God. I got Diva's prayer request. I prayed for her. Of course, of course. I wanted to go back and make sure that everybody got prayed for. Um, I do pray for everybody off stream as well. And I do, I do share the prayers. I make sure that you guys get prayed for. It's a promise. Um, but I want to start making sure that I do this on stream as well. Every Sunday, I want to do this together. Every Sunday, we're gonna revisit the prayers as well. What I, what I want to do, what I want to do is every Sunday, I'm gonna collect these prayers. I'm gonna pray throughout the week for you guys, right? And I, I want to basically return to it the next Sunday so we can talk about it. We can talk about what you guys have, have, you know, been through how the prayers were going, whether we need to change it. How do I get type? Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? Um, but yeah, I just wanted to, I just wanted to do that. Um, I think prayer is, well, I don't think, I know prayer is important. And I want to kind of highlight how important it is. You know? I hope that you guys had a, uh, how do I type? You type here! You type here! <laughs> you type here! Right, right here with me! <laughs> um... So, thank you so much, everybody. Thank you so much for praying with me. Thank you for your prayer request. Um, if you guys have any more... If you guys have any more prayer requests, please leave them in the Discord. If you have them here, you can leave them... You can leave them um, here as well. I'll write them down. Can you take off your glasses? I mean, yeah, I can. But why would I want to? I can't see without them. It's like... Chat. Chat looks kind of kind of funny. Without my, my glasses. Yeah, it's a backpack! Let me put my glasses on. Oh, thank you. Okay, um... Yes, it's a backpack. I carry I carry my Bible everywhere I go. I got I got a couple of them here. I've got my study Bible, I got my ESV, and I got my King James. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can take the backpack off too. See? No backpack. <laughs> backpack? No backpack.
Oh my goodness. Thank you. Back. One a month come up. Oh, Shogun Wolf! Thank you so much for the 10 months! Thank you, thank you, thank you, and God bless you! Thank you! Never, never noticed it before? Really? Really? Really, really, really? Well, there you go. Oh, hold on! I have my reference sheet. If you're ever curious, I got my reference sheet. Uh, here. Here, I got some, some reference pictures. Of course, Jay, of course! I was really happy to do it. I was really happy to do it. I was really happy to do it. Oh my gosh! Guys! Uh, here, hold on. Let me get the... Let me get the reference sheet so you can see. Um, copy image address here. I think this should work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, here it is. This is my, this is my reference sheet. It, it gives a little detail about my design. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, however, um, I, I think, I think there's, I think there's somebody at the door. I think I gotta, I gotta, Take this. Hold on. I'll be right back. I'll be... I'll be right back. Hello? Hello? Or, uh, yes, it's, it's me, Abner. Hello? Abigail? Oh, yes, Abner. Of course, Abner. Um, I, I hope you were having a wonderful Sunday, Mr. Abner. Um, it seems like some people here might need you for a moment. Oh uh, yes, of course. Uh, let me let me just uh let me get my let me get my my supplies and my tools, and uh, I'll come I'll come help I'll come help. Ah, oh, perfect, perfect. Let me just uh get my stuff. All right, all right. Uh, hello, everybody. Me, Abner. Hello. Yes, I'm the big boss. Today is big fan here. Welcome, big fan. We could use an industrial size fan here. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, uh, gonna be working hard here. Ah, uh, we could definitely use a big fan binoculars. All right, everybody. How was your Sunday? Sunday is the day off from work. I hope you guys have been enjoying your day off. Me? It's not my day off yet. Not yet. Uh, by the way, I saw, I saw that, uh, let's see, good night, Diva, have a great rest of the night, and God bless you. We got some, we got some new hires here, I see we got Abby, Abby's a new hire, uh, welcome to the team, funny, I have a friend named Abby, <laughs> I work eight days a week, yeah, that's the spirit, that's the spirit potato, that's the type of, type of people we like to have here, uh, Day of Dragons says hello, hello! Hello. I am at work? Well, it can shut up! You're at work? Really? What? I, hold on. I have on the schedule you're supposed to have the day off. Hold on. Let me let me look at my papers. Oh, no. This is all wrong. This is all wrong! You weren't, you weren't supposed to work today! Unless it... Oh, wait. Hold on. I'm sorry, I actually mixed it up. I looked at, uh, uh, pr prosciutto, not ikashudo. Prosciutto had the day out, but ikashudo, it does say that you work here, so you're okay for now. Uh, make sure that you don't get any overtime, because there is currently no approved overtime for you. Yes. Anyway. Oh, yeah. You, yeah, I mixed it up, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Prosciutto was actually the one that was supposed to have the day off today. Sabbath day. Yeah, but you know, sometimes, sometimes corporate is like, Hey, Abner. Hey, Abner, can you come in and work? And I say no. And then, and then they all, like, ten, ten guys, ten, ten big guys come in. They, they're like, you gotta go to work. And they all pick me up and they all throw me into the work truck. And I am forced to work against my will. Yeah, that's right. They're like, Abner, buildings are 
they're gonna get built on their own. What company do we even work for here? We what, you didn't get the union paperwork? We're all a part of the Lego building union! 90 hours a day and I don't get a break? Uh, I think you might have forgotten to clock out. No overtime? Better fix itself then. Am I right or am I right? Hard, working harder or hardly working? <laughs> God. Uh, I have to go. Goodbye, Zarista. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Have an amazing rest of the day. And, and God bless you. How are we doing here? We're doing pretty good, Mr. Action. Do you like spiders? No, if they're, they're, if they're on my territory, I splat them. <laughs> I just got off of work! Metal, I just got off of work! I'm here! Got off of work? I actually came over here to help out of the goodness of my heart. That's right. Out of the goodness of my heart. I am here. Good night, Jay! Good night. I will continue to pray for... I mean, uh, Abigail will continue to pray for you and your situation and everything going on. What are you building? Uh, I am currently not at uh, liberty to discuss the current projects I am on. Uh, however, I've got big things planned. Very big things. Very big things. Very big things. Uh, I, hold on. Everybody, uh, oh my- Guys! There's something behind you! Guys! Guys, I don't mean to alarm you, but turn around! Look behind you! Look behind you! Oh my gosh, that's crazy! Guys, that's crazy! Bye, Abner! Oh, guys, while you were turned around, uh, Abner, Abner had to leave. Abner had to leave. Um, wait, while you guys were turned around, Abner had to leave. Yeah. Man, he, he, he ran away! He ran away! He was like, he was like, zoom! He just, like, ran out. He just ran out. I was like, Abner, wait! And then, uh, where did he go? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows where that guy goes? Who knows where that guy goes? Uh, don't worry, I'll let it- I'll... Whoa. That was crazy. There were some race cars outside. If never- Abner is gone, am I still getting paid? Uh... Uh... Good question! Unfortunately, I am not Abner, so I do not have the answer. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Thank you for praying with me. Thank you for reading with me. Thank you for all the incredible discussion we had today. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed your time here. I hope that you got something out of reading God's word together. Yeah. I hope you had an incredible Sunday. I really do. I really do. Um, let me see who's streaming now. I would like. I like to. I like to try and read other Christian streamers. Um, when, uh, right after, uh, my Bible stream. So let's see, let's see who is streaming right now. There is a lot of really cool people streaming right now. Um, I haven't read a bear trap in a while. Let's read, I think, let's read him. He's a Christian streamer, he has a family-friendly stream, and he plays games with his chat right now. He is playing, um, Mario Kart 8 with his chat. So, let's go raid him and give him some love, okay? Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Thank you so much for reading with me today. Spending time with me today. Thank you for everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Have an amazing rest of the night. And God bless you. I will see you all 